Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are continuing on with this thing right here. Honestly, what I think we'll do today is we'll actually go ahead and paint this thing. Uh, we also actually need to cut this little bit out because, as one of you guys said, uh, we can't actually get into the submarine when it spawns in because it spawns back here uh, without actually teleporting in. So we need to fix that straight away. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and just do that straight up and then we'll paint it and hopefully all will actually look pretty good. So, let's go! Let's go ahead and grab this. There you go, excellent. Let's go straight in, and honestly, we're just going to go ahead and delete this entire thing uh, for now. So, go from there, all the way back to about there. That's fine. Obviously, it spawns here, so we don't need anything further back than this. There we go. Uh, and we will actually do this right here as well. So, that'll go there, and there, and there we go. So, there's a big hole, but that's okay. It allows us to jump in wherever it is. So that makes sense. That does make a lot of sense. Uh, the other thing that I want to do is I want to do this right here and I want to do this right here. There we go. Excellent. Uh, and there was a reason that we had to do something here. I can't remember what though. Yeah. Uh, anyway, it's fine. Uh, I also want to put some stairs on the outside of this or some railings, I should say. So let's have a little look at the railings and see what this does. So the end. There we go. Excellent. And then we're going to continue up with these guys. Uh, because we need to. So there you go. One there, one there, one there, one there, one there, one there, one there. There we go. And one there. Excellent. And then we're going to send it across from here using this piece, like so. There we go. Excellent. And then we're obviously going to have to fix it onto here uh, to make it look beautiful. However, problem. Um, I don't think there's actually a piece that fits that. I don't think there is. Also, I need to do this on the other side as well, which is something that I haven't done yet, which is really annoying because, uh, yeah. We're, we're, yeah, reasons. So copy this, press U, take it to the other side. Let's go. There you go, excellent. Paste it in, merge it in, and hopefully this is all good. Yeah, I think it will be. Excellent. Right, go with this. Uh, grab this color. Go ahead and put it on the bottom of this. There we go, excellent. All the way down to there, very nice. And then we're going to go sideways from here, uh, like so. I think that'll be all good. There you go, do this, and do this. And then we'll go sideways from there. Actually, wait, it's one further back. It is actually one further back. Shall we do this? There we go. All the way across there. Delete that one and that one. Put this in and put this in. And then we want to put one of these right there. However, again, I'm only doing it on one side, which is super duper annoying. There you go. So now what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and copy this. There you go. Press U. Take it to the other side, which we've already done, but that's fine. Paste it there. Merge it on. And we should be good to go. So there you go. Makes that bit look a little bit better, uh, and that that is that is a good thing. Right, okay, excellent. So from now, we need to actually paint the rest of this on. Yes, we do. So we're going to go with uh, the dark red, and we're going to send it around the bottom of this, uh, because I believe we should. So there you go. And we're going to send it all the way down to the end. There we go, very nice. Send it across here. That bit's already done, which is good. We're going to then do this piece on the inside, because I think we should. So there you go, that's going to go all the way around there until it meets the end. Very nice. We're going to jug all of this this color, jug all of that that color, this, that, there you go, and this. Excellent, nice. All right, we're then going to have to continue around the front. Do, 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 continue around the front, all the way backwards, uh, like so. Excellent. And there we go, very nice. Okay, awesome. We're then going to jug this, we're going to jug that, we're going to jug this, this, this. There we go, this, this, and this, and that, and that, and the bottom. Bam, there we go. Oh, and also this piece. So there we go. It's going to be red all the way around the outside, just like so. We're going to jug this piece in. Uh, we're obviously going to jug that piece in. There we go. Uh, and I believe that is almost everything, except this bit's wrong. This bit is wrong. There we go. Get rid of all that. There we go. Excellent. Uh, we need to make sure that that's right around here as well, but it is. So there you go. Nice. We've done it, guys. We've done it. Excellent. Uh, the next thing, we're going to go with this guy, and we're going to send this around as well. Because uh, I believe we should. So there you go. And send that all the way around to there. And do it across here as well. Excellent. And we're going to send it all the way around uh, until it reaches the back. Which I believe is fine. So there you go. Send it all the way backwards. There you go to there. Very good. Send this inwards. And then we want to go from here all the way forwards to a point where we can see it. There we go. Excellent. And then all the way around here to the front. There we go. So that makes it look a little bit better, I think. Makes it look a little bit more like a boat that is uh, in use. So that's pretty good. Nice. All right, I would like the submarine to spawn in further forwards. But it seems like that is not possible. Seems like it's not possible. Uh, with that being said, however, what we could do is deploy a uh, docking brake off. 
Uh, and then we can have this automatically go in. So if we delete this and we do a button, uh, we can actually have this automatically pull it in. So here we go. Down and up. There we go. So we can automatically have the up one on. In and out. There we go. Excellent. Uh, and then we need electricity to these guys, obviously. And then we spawn it in. It should get pulled in. And there we go. Excellent. Nice. That totally works, actually. Yeah. Uh, and then, obviously, we run out of the balancing issues uh, because it is pulled in. And that all works out for us. Brilliant. No, this is perfect. This is actually perfect. Um, right. Okay, cool. So, what I'm thinking now is we actually get rid of some of the stand. <laughs> um, because honestly, we don't need this entire area right here. We don't need this to be all covered. So, I think that's fine. Same with the thing back here as well. We could actually remove this and move it inwards. Uh, but again, I don't really know what to do with that if we did that. So, we won't. There you go. Alright, we're then going to move on to this piece. And we're going to send this from here all the way to there. Very good. And we're going to paint that in as well. So, uh, if we can, we're going to have a rim around the edge like this. We're going to do this little bit as well and most of this. There you go. So, that's going to go all the way around to there. Uh, we're going to actually paint all of this in like this. I know it's probably not the best way of doing it or the nicest looking way of doing it. But I think it is a good way of doing it. Because then we don't have to do the paint blocks or anything like that. And it should still look okay. Uh, we can even barrier this off as well if we need to. So that's all good. Excellent. Um, we might even continue that to there. Yes. Okay, very good. Send it all the way down to there. Send it to here. And there we go. Nice. Okay, excellent. So that's all good. We're then going to do this piece all the way across to here. And we're going to do this piece all the way forwards. And then even further from here to there. Very good. And we're going to block this bit off at the front. There we go. Nice. Okay, that's all good. That is all good. We're going to send this this way. We're going to do this way. There we go. And that's all fine. We're then going to jug in uh, the main color, which we're going to go with something like this. And I think that's pretty good, to be honest. I think that'll work. Nice. Very nice, actually. Um, okay. We're also going to add a helm, uh, as we can right now. So we're going to do this in here. Do, 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 do. There we go. Excellent. We'll actually move it away a little bit. We'll have it there. Uh, and I think that'll be fine. Yeah. Um, do, 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 do. Why is this bit all this color? Is my question. Did I do this on purpose or did I do this by accident? I actually don't know. So we're going to paint all this back this color and we'll change it in the future if we need to. So there you go. Very nice. Guys, I'm actually pretty pleased with the way this is looking. Um, I might increase the height of the front bit. I think this might actually increase. Um, but the rest of it can stay somewhat as is, I think. Uh, we're going to have to have little engines so we can push this thing around. Uh, we're obviously going to have to have fuel on board as well uh, and stuff like that. So that should be pretty good. Uh, and maybe we should actually have a passenger area on board as well. So with that being said, if we had a passenger area, we could do it from about here, right? We could do it from about there. We could send this this way and we could attach this onto here like so. And do that. Excellent. And then we could actually have, like, windows in the front. And this will be where the passengers go. I think that's not actually a bad idea. So we're going to do it. There we go. Delete all of these as we go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, just do one in the middle. Excellent. And that's probably fine. All right, windows. Let's do this. So we're going to go with the portholes because they're pretty cool. There you go. Porthole, porthole, porthole. Very good. Uh, and I think that's fine. Excellent. Looks a bit weird, but it works. Uh, we're then going to send this this way, downwards, to about there. And we need to figure out what's going on with this area. So I'm thinking we actually don't have it this big. Uh, maybe not even that big. But then we send it across here like so. Excellent. And maybe all the way across the back, actually, like that. There we go. Good. And then the door could go here. And that'll be fine, I think. Yeah, that'll be excellent. Nice. Looks a bit weird, but I think it works. Um, yeah. Nice. Alright, spawn it in. Let's see what it looks like now. Let's see. Let's see, shall we? Yeah, it looks weird, but at the same time, it honestly works. So, we're going to keep it as is. With that being said as well, we can actually get rid of this bit again. Delete that. Bring it all the way forwards to about there. Nice. Put this little piece on right here like so. Spawn it in. Let's see what happens. Do, 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 do. 
So it gets pulled to the front, and there it is. Excellent. No, this totally works. This totally works. Good. All right, I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that. So now, when we want to get inside our submarine, we run upstairs. We get in here. We jump in. We close this up. Uh, we open this door. We go outside. Okay. And then we need a disconnect button for the front bit. That is a problem, actually. We need to disconnect the front somehow. Um, okay. Okay, is there a disconnect button? There is no disconnect button. So it's right there. So we need a way of getting to that. But there is no way of getting to that. So we have to disconnect it before we get in. I think that's probably fine. So let's get over there. Alright. Nice. Alright. We then disconnect it from here. Excellent. That's good. Somewhat. We then can jump in. Close this door. Yeah. Get in here. And reverse out. Oh, then the back of the boat actually jumps up quite a bit. That's interesting. That is very interesting. Okay, and then let's say we do... That. Because I want to see what the redocking situation is like. And if we're going to struggle, which I think we are. I think we're going to struggle with this. Yikes. Alright, okay. That's fine. That's fine. I think we're going to struggle with the redocking situation. But if we can figure that out, that'll be okay. Alright, let's, let's, let's swim away. We'll get back over there and we'll try and redock. Hopefully this will be okay. We might need to add some, like, angles so we, like, force ourselves into the right place. But I think it'll be okay. Right, here we go. Is our ballast tank full as well? I think our ballast tank might actually start full. That's weird. It's very strange. Okay, here we go. Okay, you see? So, I missed. <laughs> I missed. Is the ballast tank full? It is. Ballast out. There we go. So, with the ballast tank full, obviously we're going to have a lot of issues. With the ballast tank empty, it might be a hell of a lot easier. Alright, here we go. So, that's busy pumping out. If we were a little bit slower as well, that'd be great. Let's try and uh, raise ourselves up a little bit. Alright, we're too far left. But we are in about the right position. So now if we do this. It's getting so close. But it's a little bit far off because of where it is. So if we do this again. Go forwards. Okay. I mean, really, realistically, we should be loading slowly anyway, but uh, it's not working out the way we want it to because it's not quite flat. You see, like, this bit pokes out the edge. So there you go. Let's say we're in like this. All right, we reverse up a tiny touch. Not that much. Jeez. No, it's very finicky. It's extremely finicky. Okay. So we can actually drive with these, can't we? There we go. All right, so then let's say we do this. It's locked onto the left, but it hasn't locked onto the right. What in the world? What is going on? Okay, our docking situation isn't the best. Our docking situation is not the best. Because I can't get off this now. Alright, turn this off. In fact, turn it to the opposite. Pull us down. Pull us down. There we go. Excellent. And then this side needs to level up as well, but it's not. That Wait, neither side is actually connected. So I don't know what's going on with this. What the? Oh, we connected there for a second. Alright, I don't know what was going on there, but something bad. Alright, okay. And then do this. Okay, excellent. Turn sideways. Using our other motors that we do definitely have. Alright, if it's this if it's this tricky to do, we should probably figure out a different way of doing it. There, okay, now we're on. Now we're now we're on. Okay, and then obviously we put the brake on. And then we need to actually fill our ballast tank to actually be able to move. Alright, there's it, it's kinda crazy actually. It's crazy how, how awkward that was. 
That was very, very awkward to do. So we're going to have to figure that out. Uh, whether we lower it down a little bit, that's probably a better idea. Having multiple sliders maybe down the side. Because that would work too. It, it would be fine doing that. So we'll probably end up doing something like that as well. Maybe, possibly. Uh, but okay, that's that's all good. We have done it so that it, it works. It's just really tricky to do. Imagine if it was wavy too. That would suck. Uh, but anyway, let's do this downwards. Alright, so our propeller ends up in the water. The brakes didn't work there. The docking brake did not work there. Is it on? It's really trying, but it's not... Not quite there. We need the... We need... Alright, okay. The other thing is we can put a ballast on the boat so that when this is there... Uh, obviously the back of the boat will then go down. That's probably another good idea as well. If you guys have any ideas on what we can do with this, let me know in the comments down below. Because, honestly, we need a little bit of work here. We need a little bit of work here. Because it's not amazing. But, um, yeah. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Let's go drive up next to it, see what we look like next to it. And, uh, see what the boat looks like as it just sits. Uh, because that would be interesting to see. Here we go, yeah. Obviously the, the front of the boat is low. And the back of the boat is high. But that's okay. Yeah, nice. All right, guys, it's totally working. It's totally going to work. All right. I'm happy. I'm happy. Even though the front of the boat looks like this, I'm sure it's going to be okay. We're going to add a ballast tank that fills up once the submarine is in the area. And then, oh, I don't know how. I don't know how we're going to do it, but we will do it. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and say thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed whatever the heck this was. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.